This video will shortly touch upon fine-grained image recognition. Fine-grained recognition is the task of distinguishing between visually very similar objects, such as identifying the species of a bird, the breed of a dog, or the model of an aircraft. The apparent differences between such categories are only very subtle and can be easily overwhelmed by those caused by factors such as pose, viewpoint, or location of the object in the image. In terms of visual categories, such classes have high interclass and low interclass variants. This makes the fine-grained recognition task extremely challenging. Distinguishing between objects in this scenario often implies focusing on details from co coarser to finer levels, such as a, a, a beak of a bird, because these work as discriminating features for recognition. A number of datasets are available to train and evaluate uh, fine-grained categorization models. The Stanford DOGS dataset con contains over uh, 20,000 images of 120 breeds of dogs from around the world. This dataset has been built using images and annotation from ImageNet. Another challenging collection is Caltech UCSD BIRDS, featuring images of birds as well as additional attribute and part annotation, the use of which we will cover now. Semantic part localization can facilitate fine-grained categorization by explicitly isolating subtle uh, differences in appearance associated with specific object parts, such as the beak of the bird. Localizing the parts in an object is therefore important for establishing correspondence between object instances and discounting object pose variations and camera view position changes. During the next week, you will learn how to create object detection algorithms that can be used for part localization during deep convolutional neural networks. To make the network more sensitive for the target task of fine-grained bird classification, one may take an ImageNet pre-trained convolutional neural network such as the Inception model and fine-tune it for the 200-way bird classification task using boning box annotations provided in the dataset. The parts of the fine-grained object are then localized, such as the head and torso for bird species classification, then the uh, part alignment is done. At the final step, features for the predicted whole object and the line part region are extracted and concatenated using the network fine-tune for that particular whole object or part. Uh, then a one versus all classifier is trained using the final feature representation. Dividing the fine-grained dataset into multiple visually similar subsets or directly using multiple ne neural networks to improve the performance of classification is another widely used method in many deep learning based fine-grained image classification systems. One possibility is to employ additional labeling information extracted from the domain ontology. A core observation is that a subordinate level uh, label carries an implied hierarchy of labels, each corresponding to a level in the ontology. Subordinate level uh, objects already have other labels in this uh, ontology tree. For instance, uh, a corn woodpecker can also be called melanorps at genus level or piscidae at family level. These free labels can be used to train a series of CNN-based classifiers, each specialized at one grain level. The internal representation of these networks have different regions of interest, allowing the construction of multi-grain descriptions that encode information and discriminative uh, features covering all the grain levels. The multiple granularity convolutional neural network contains a parallel set of deep convolutional neural networks, as shown in the slide each optimized to classify at a given granularity. The, uh, in other words, the multiple granularity CNN is composed of a set of single-grain descriptors. Cell I and C in their hidden layers guides the selection of region of interest from a common pool of bottom-up proposed image patches. Region of interest selection is therefore by definition granularity dependent, in the sense that selected patches are results of the associated classifier of a given granularity. Finally, per granularity region of interests are fed into the second stage of the framework to extract per granularity descriptors, which are then merged to give classification results.
To summarize, a fine grain uh, object classification uh, is the task of distinguishing objects from different subordinate level categories within a general category. Generic descriptors extracted from the uh, conventional CNNs are already powerful enough to be fine tuned for uh, fine grain recognition. But part localization can help focus on different associated differences uh, that are connected to object parts. We can also uh, can think of uh, dividing the problem into more simple subtasks to facilitate uh, learning per task uh, descriptors.